It's February, the month of slush and chocolate and love and holidays. That's right, it's February, and I want to talk about holidays, because Valentine's Day is coming up. And Valentine's Day, I have never seen a holiday as polarizing for people as Valentine's Day. I mean, there's a lot of people who get really upset about the war on Christmas, but Valentine's Day, it's usually you either love it, and you're like, oh, I'm so looking forward to Valentine's Day, or you're just like, oh, very stupid Valentine's Day, God! And... It's really weird, because I used to be one of those people. I used to be like, Valentine's Day is stupid. Valentine's Day, why do we need a day where we celebrate these things? And and really, I mean, the, the, the argument that comes up often is that it's a, it's a bullshit Hallmark holiday invented so that people could sell cards. And that's probably true, but it sort of doesn't matter. I mean, there are lots of made-up holidays. In fact, making up holidays is super cool. Made-up holidays, I mean, as opposed to holidays that commemorate historical occasions like uh, Canada Day or Independence Day or Martin Luther King Day. Um, made-up holidays are just made up. Christmas is sort of a made-up holiday. Christmas um, it is a historical fact that Christmas, even if it did happen in the way that, that people sort of believe it happened, it didn't happen in December. It was moved to December to coincide with the Roman feast of Saturnalia. Such is life. Easter, same thing. Big pagan event. And we're like, all right, well, let's do it then. I mean, it's, it's good for everybody's schedule, really. But Valentine's Day, I mean, yeah, it's, it's probably, it's a made-up holiday. And it's a made-up holiday about being in love and, and doing all kinds of, of things with, with your, your, specifically your lover. Your, it's about romantic love as opposed to, like, uh Fam familial love, like you get with Mother's Day or Father's Day. There's no Grandparents' Day. There, there is definitely a Grandparents' Day. I don't know when it is, but I will find out and I will put it in the, in the notes because it is definitely a real thing. There's a day for like everything now. But the point is, you can just make up holidays. I remember when people made up Talk Like a Pirate Day. September nineteenth is now Talk Like a Pirate Day. People have been celebrating this for years, and it's totally rad. I mean, sometimes it's nice to just do something different or to remind, have a day where you remind yourself that it's important to do something different. I mean, well, yeah, sure, maybe you don't need a day to, to sit down and, and, and with your, your lover and share moments and give each other presents and remind each other that you're in love. That's great. Some people do. And even if you don't, it's nice to have a day where you do that. I mean, much in the same way that you probably don't need a day that reminds you to do nice things for your parents. Or you don't need a day that reminds you to eat chocolate eggs. Seriously, eat chocolate eggs every day. It, y your life will be dramatically improved by this. But, I suppose my real point is, I'm not willing to throw the baby that talks like a pirate out with the bathwater. And for that reason, and, and I mean, sort of not just for that reason alone, but for that reason, I am not ready to hate Valentine's Day, even if it is a day that people made up so that they could sell cards. Which it might be. Anyway, I am not going to rant about Valentine's Day for the whole month. I am not going to rant about Valentine's Day, even for another week. Uh, on Friday... I will have a song from Phantom of the Opera for Steph Tanner, who is wonderful and donated to my Polar Plunge campaign. And then next Friday, we will have even more music, and I will see you guys later. Bye!